It's Thursday, which means we're at the farmer's market. We're here at Call Classic Brewing, and we're having a great time meeting lots of new vendors, some of the old vendors, and we're going to show you just a little taste of what you could experience when you visit next Thursday. First stop, cane mixers. It's hot out. I feel like this is the perfect place to start. Guys, introduce yourself. Where are we today? How you doing? My name is Isaac Wilson. This is Jasmine Wilson, Hello. my wife. Today we are Cane Collective, also known as Cane Mixers as well. So we're a pandemic-born business. Uh, started back in 2020. You know, uh, all of us are craft bartenders, mixologists, and what happened was once we got this place, we said, you know what? How can we be able to keep that good energy of everybody since they're home, you know, everybody's spirits are down. Yep. How can we lift it back up and make sure everybody has the good time without losing a beat? I keep trying to visit people, but everyone's busy. It's like they want to make sales and send people home happy. I'm just trying to do an interview. So can you introduce yourself? Yes, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jen Vedrani. I'm the owner and co-founder of Refill Goodness. So if people come out here on a Thursday, what else could they uh, kind of peruse at your table? What are we offering? Well, so the things that people tend to like the most are the Swedish dish cloths, which will replace uh, up to 17 rolls of paper towels wow. or um, eight or nine sponges. Another thing that people really like that we sell, this is toothpaste. Get out of here. I'm serious. Look at you. <laughs> Another thing that's really caught people's attention is ways to um, change from Ziploc baggies and saran wrap. Sure. So you can wrap up your fruits and vegetables with these instead. Do you feel it's important to recognize, you know, all different levels of sustainable living? So some people are super far advanced. Yeah. Some people are tiptoeing in and are happy with the Swedish dishcloth. Sure. We're cool with whatever stage you're at. Because every little step, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. We'll keep yeah. building on it. Yeah. Well, thank exactly. you so much. Okay. Tell me about Sunkiss Flower Farm. Uh, well, Sunkiss Flower Farm is a micro flower farm mm -hmm. on Penn Island. I started it right before COVID, February yeah. 2020. Um, and I started in honor of my mom when she passed away in January. Gotcha. Um, and I grow. Local, no toxic sprays, you know, I uh, ensure that all of my practices are really good for the environment, yeah. pollinators, beneficial insects. Um, I actually got a grant through Q uh, Queen Anne's County recently. Nice, uh, you, 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 you know how to get on TV, that's <laughs> fun. That's, so come visit Rachel, Sunkiss Flower yes, Farm. come visit. <laughs> Spread some joy in your life, make it look pretty. Absolutely. Awesome. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Great. You got a sample of a lot of stuff that's here at the farmer's market, but you didn't get to see everything. If you want to see everything at this amazing farmer's Mark has to offer. We'll see you next week where you can experience another side of life that you ain't seen before. At the farmer's market. Oh. At the farmer's market. Oh.